what's up how are you guys doing so um today i am at my friend's baby shower um, we planned the surprise baby shower for her i just got into an estate i just got out of the car and i wanted to let you guys know that i will be vlogging this baby shower her name is sally we met at work last year yeah and we've been good friends since then and she's such an amazing person and i was like i was so excited when you know our other friends like messaged me and said we need to plan this baby shower for her. i was like Whoop, whoop. Anyways, so we're supposed to wear white, like white. Oh, my hand is spinning me. So we're supposed to wear white, um, like a white top, which is what I'm wearing right now, and um, some jeans, like blue jeans, which is also what I'm wearing right now. And I paired it up with some, what is this called? Sandals, like nude sandals, with the block eel because I cannot just stress myself. Also. Um, Every time I have an event like this, like my friend is doing baby shower or bridal shower or something like that, or any events that I am at for friends of mine, um, they always I always like I'm the program coordinator or something like that. So I do like I draw up the program and then come up with the games and stuff. I love doing those, like I absolutely love it. So I'm the go-to person for that. So I'm just gonna take you guys inside. By the way, our estate is absolutely amazingly gorgeous, like it's so beautiful. Um, I wish I could show you guys. I don't know if I'm allowed to vlog inside the estate, but it's so beautiful. I didn't know this, there was someone like this in a papa. She's almost coming, or she's almost here. Um, her husband took her out so that we can like arrange and stuff. I didn't arrange anything, you guys, because me it was my own. I'm just there to drop the program and all that. Coming in now to show you guys what it looks like. And she So when you when you win, you share your money, yeah. Yeah. Yay! Next. Um, I met my wife through a friend. A friend introduced me to Sally. Then she was serving in the law school. <laughs> so, she was in law school and yeah, yeah. So, one beautiful night. I just said, you know, talking on the phone. I said, let me talk. Spoke to me that very day and came to law school that very day. Let him ah, talk now. No. Yes, yes, no. No. Let him talk now. Let him talk now. No, no, no. 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 Okay. Not very nice. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Not very nice. Give you know, when I spoke with her on the phone, I was at home that day. Yeah. And she says she must be like, my house is in front. Let me drive down. Let me see you. Know, okay, okay. Ah! Ah! Yeah, juice! It's a good round! Round! It's a good You can eat me! 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 Yes! Ah! No! 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 Beautiful. Oh, I 
Yeah. What's up? What's up, peeps? Really? You know what you look like? <laughs> oh, God, don't look like. Fan. It was very hot. Anyways, guys, I want to show you something. Let me show you something. So, um, the lady that stays with us, um, she kind of found my mom's old phone. Um, and she was going through it. I think she wanted to like delete some things off of it or something like that. I guess what we found, we found videos of like the old um, person that used to stay with us, um, the old maid, taking pic videos and pictures of herself with my mom's things, confessing about how she stole um, her, what does it say she stole? Stole? <laughs> Rejoice! <laughs> Rejoice, please! Tell us, tell us, tell us what you see for the video, Abeg. <laughs> what do you see? What did she say? She said, Lord, show me how I will take this phone. She wanted to steal the phone, so she was asking God to teach her how to steal the yes. phone. Eh. She even took the phone. She eh. took this, she took pants, all this. <laughs> she took She will show them the video. She opened one video, make it and see, so that they're not saying that we're lying. You guys, it's crazy. See the struggles we made, Zen. Eh? Yeah, I, I will take this phone. I will take things for this house. I will take things for this house. I will cry. I will say my mommy died. I will cry. I will go. Oh my God. <laughs> what do you think when mommy comes to the video? Mommy, she now stand like this. She said, this girl that I cry. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you can't tell mommy, say me, mommy, you know, trust our sets. I mean, I tell mommy, don't trust house sets. Hmm. Don't trust any house sets. But she can trust you, Abby. <laughs> she trusts me because I leave my heart to God. <laughs> we know of the ones that try to abort their baby in our house. We like they let like I remember she legit asked me to go and bring blade for her. She was in the toilet. She was like that. She bring blade for her. She was trying to abort her baby. My mom caught her. We have one that she like stole a bunch of our stuff. We have one that like every time my parents go out to work in the morning, she go to the salon, go and fix her hair. She won't do house chores. Like it's been a struggle. We had one that ran away. Like. I feel like one day I will come on here and make a video of our ourselves stories. Like, 
it's been a real struggle. So, did you guys hear what happened to Risky today? Did you guys hear the story? Did you hear about it? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. what do you think? So, the decision is not leading to the point of having that child. Mm -hmm. And to now turn around and for whatever reason, start acting irresponsible, not wanting to take responsibility for the child, not wanting to be there emotionally, not wanting to be there physically. It's a risk of responsibility, really. And it's not a good example for anyone to follow because. For one, he's a celebrity. Yeah, I understand that he has a busy schedule, but he's not the first celebrity to have a baby mama or yeah. have kids from different. The most hilarious part of the video to me was uh, that's a video, sorry. The, the most <laughs> please come and sit down inside, I don't have to return the camera. Yeah. The most hilarious part of the saga to me was the part where she um he so she had been asking him she, she had told him about um what's the boy's name again? Tifa Tifa school Bolo fees. Tifa. Yeah, Bolo Tifa school fees. And he like ignored it. And then she said a bunch of other things the Bolo Tifa needed and he ignored it. And then you will now see six like almost like six weeks later, he just sends what's his shoe size? Like as he it's it's it, 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 the thing is, this boy is your first child. Yeah. I, I think so mom. people are making arguments that you know he doesn't really care for the mom like but the thing is that I feel like Whiskey genuinely liked what's her name again Shola I think that's her name I think he genuinely liked her when he had not blown so she was good for his yeah, you know his, his, level. his level then and you know they had a child they brought a child into this world but I feel like Whiskey now is feeling like you know he's blown so in his mind he's kind of like, I think he's embarrassed of her which I think is very very stupid this, like I said it's a series of decisions that led to this point yeah you met this chick you actively tried to do whatever it is you did with her. Mm -hmm. um, you guys had sex and you had a baby. The decision to have an unprotected sex was your decision. You mm -hmm. took that. It was conscious. Then she had you became pregnant and at that point, I don't know whether you told her to abort it, or I told her to keep it, whatever you guys decided. It was a conscious decision. And then there's this child. This child is innocent of whatever whether, whatever, that. whatever, so whatever issues situation, you have with the mom. You take care you take of full your responsibility. Child. It wreaks irresponsibility for you. Not like to he even sends her messages that she shouldn't even post him on social media. I'm like, you know, you're there posting this other child on social media. This like, boy is going to grow up one day, and you're talking about. So, oh my god! Fun fact: What's your, your friend? Your best friend? Your okay. Sola? Yeah. If you watch this vlog, your Sola. Your Sola was like, Tifa has seen his dad more times on TV than in real life. Exactly. Like, like the boy is going to grow up, and you can be sure he's not going to like his father right. because. He's had seven birthdays in this world, and his father has never been attended one. Them. Come on. What excuse do you have for that? I mean, this is your child for crying out loud. I, mean, I don't understand. And, and you know, and you know, the, the reality of thing is, things is that people were actually yeah, rooting like, for him. People were like, "Oh well, she's just trying to get money from him." And I was like, "That means," or I, I even know there are a whole bunch of Nigerian men that do this on a regular. They have kids littered on the streets of Lagos. And they don't care about them. Rejoice over there. No, still showing us. Madame, she don't went to church. She's okay, showing no. us videos. Tea, tea, so we don't. <laughs> Rejoice, that battery is low. We're charge it. We just got to charge that phone. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, let me know what you think on this whiskey. Wahala. I just feel like he just needs to get his act right. He needs to. And I, oh my God, the bad part is that whenever he actually does hang out with the son, he's talking to him about touching ladies' body parts. Yeah, what, what, what's that about? What are you teaching your son? <sighs> Sorry, let me know what you guys think about this Whiskey Saga. Um, Yeah, that's where we're going to end the vlog today. Hopefully, this can be a weekly thing. Hopefully. But that's where we're going to end the vlog today. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. You know what to do. Like this video, subscribe, and share with everybody that you know. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.